Now we come to another of our state-of-the-art sessions. These are amongst the most popular items in the ERS program. And I've got with me Dave Singh, who was part of the Airways Disease state-of-the-art session. Tell me what you were talking about. So I was talking about the role of bloody eosinophils as a biomarker to predict the effects of inhaled steroids in COPD. This is an area which confuses many people. There's been a lot of information from separate sources. And what I tried to do is put this information together to give some very simple messages for clinicians, how to use bloody eosinophils, and we can do it. They can be used to predict the effect of inhaled steroids on exacerbation reduction. And what would you be your three top lines? My three top lines is are that we need to believe in the concept that blood eosinophils do predict the presence of eosinophils in the lungs. There's, there's data to, to support that. And as soon as you believe this, then you realize you need to tailor your therapy to treat eosinophilic COPD. So the second point is as the blood eosinophil count increases, the effect of inhaled steroids increases. It's a continuous relationship. The third point is that this is just one part of the toolbox that a doctor has in the personalized approach to pick the right therapy for the patient. So a really important set of messages there and one that's uh, useful for a very wide range of uh, practitioners. For, for every doctor treating COPD patients, the last slide I showed, which is in, in our recent ERJ paper, it shows a table, and I, I would say you have to look at that because it, it, it gives you how to best use inhaled steroids, and I cover that in my session. Well, you heard it from the man himself. You have to look at it. Very luckily, it's on live at ERS+. Plus. And you can see that and many other sessions uh, on Live at ERS Plus at any time of your choosing.